we just bought ourselves an air conditioner for the van. What, Chrome, how are you supposed to run an air conditioner? Hold on. It's not actually for the van on a regular basis. <clears throat> Let me explain my scenario. The other Saturday, I did a DJ gig out of town, my last DJ gig outside of the golf club, and my puppy sitter bailed on me. I reached out on Facebook, she messaged me, was like, yeah, I would love to do it, it'd be so awesome to spend some time just chilling with the dog. I had two requests, calm night in a chill place. She's like, no problem, my place is a basement, it's nice and chill. She bailed on me, not even a message, a text, a Facebook, nothing, nothing. Just fully, completely didn't reply, didn't answer. So what I did is I went to the venue, I set up the gig, then I was gonna drive to the next town over and drop the dog off while I drove to her town. Still no reply, so I messaged her. Still no reply. Then I'm starting to freak out because I gotta go back to the wedding. I'm like, what am I gonna do? I've got my beloved English Bulldog, it's 31 degrees outside, what am I gonna do? I left the AC running in my van the entire day. My van must have ran for over six hours crazy but I didn't know what else to do I was stuck in a bad situation so I kept coming out I'm not kidding every 10 minutes to make sure the AC was still running he was lounging in there like nothing happened he was like oh dad is so good because I don't ever want to deal with that kind of stress ever again I don't want to have to sit there and worry about that when I do an event weddings are the only thing that I do that require me to be somewhere during the day. Um, except for some events I do have at the golf club. I have some patio parties that are like 5 p.m. So right peak hot time of the day. But only at the golf club only. All of my bar gigs are after 10 p.m. The sun's already down. It's nice and chill. I'm not worried about the bar gigs. Mind you, my DJ stuff's coming to an end soon anyway. But I got eight events. I think it's eight or seven. So what am I going to do about keeping the dog nice and cool? That is why we bought the air conditioner. I had an awesome conversation with the lady from the golf club. I'm like, look, you know where I always park my van? She's like, yeah. Can I run an uh, extension cord from the building to my van? Because it's right by the building anyway, so I only got to tuck it between the trees. Nobody will even see the cord. She's like, yeah, why? I'm like, I want to run an air conditioner out of the back of my van. She's like, yeah, go for it. So where it's gonna be from, you guys, I'll probably show it to you when I do my next event there, which is coming up this week. I'm gonna run the cord through the bush, just like probably 60 feet to the building and plug it in, allowing me to run an air conditioner in my van. So we bought one. We're actually in the parking lot of Home Depot right now. I already bought it, kind of fiddled around with it. I should have filmed it, but I didn't. I fiddled around with it. Let me show you what we're gonna do. The van's running because me and Disco were outside a little bit ago and he's super, super tired and really hot and the temperature is brutal. This one was $139 Canadian after taxes. It came to $157 and change. So the key to this was it had to fit between here and here because I don't want to go through the hassle of fully having this massive seal job if I had to pop it in the middle there and then I had to seal off the whole back, that's too much work. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop it on top of my cooler. Oh, by the way, this video is not gonna be anything fancy, no fancy editing. You're just gonna get a video. This is gonna go on top of the Pelican. I installed the side pieces on here that are for the windows. And this thing shuts on it. Super freaking snug. Like, it's like wedged in there. I gotta reach you guys, hold on. Okay, it's fully wedged in here on this side. Then this little arm over here, 
fits, I don't know if you guys can see, but fits right in, right in behind this little seam right here. Like, perfectly. So if I adjust this, now those support arms are fully sitting. <laughs> Doesn't that look ghetto? I was originally gonna worry about the little air spaces underneath here. And I might just run a piece across, but I don't think it's really gonna be necessary. It's a small little amount of airflow, no big freaking deal. The rest of the house is fully sealed. And it's just a small gap. Having this on here helps this thing sit in there a little bit. But I am gonna be cutting this to fit on the inside of here. Look at that, perfect fit. But I'm gonna cut it so it fits let me see how close we can get it in here. Yeah. Whatever. That's going to be cut to fully fit on the inside here, completely sealing the top of this off. Still allowing me to shut my door partially like you've seen me do in previous videos, how I A-frame the doors. So at this point, once it's going to be in there, I'm going to be backing this into a group of trees. The shrubs will cover the van up to here. And if you've been around my channel, you've seen those previous videos. So yeah, it'll still have lots of airflow to get to the air conditioner and everything else to expel all what it needs to and seal off the inside. This will have the top of it fully, completely sealed off. And I think for the money I spent, I'm gonna have a lot less stress. Ugh than worrying about a freaking puppy sitter letting me down. What do you guys think? Am I freaking crazy for buying an air conditioner for my van? <laughs> There's some ghetto looking stuff, let me tell you. <laughs> Look at that. But it will only be used at the golf club and the golf club only. So I'm hoping to be able to find just a storage case that this will fit inside the storage case and I can leave it on my DJ trolley at the golf club so I don't have to worry about it. Every time I pull up there, I just grab that case, bring it down, pop the AC in, and Disco is golden. You guys are gonna see this before this actually gets put into use, so what do you think? Is it gonna work? We grabbed a few groceries. <laughs> I'm sitting here talking to the camera and I forgot I got bags of ice. Sitting inside the van melting while we're making the video <laughs> about the air conditioner. I know you guys don't see me grocery shop often, but I eat these all the time. They're like little containers of vegetable, of uh, leafy greens. And these are like, they're, they're my salad bowl. I throw in whatever I want in here, like, I don't know, avocado, some carrots, into you know, my salad with some salad dressing. And then when I'm done, boom, disposable plate. And what else I got in here? I got um, a little blended fruit, and this has uh, pineapple, banana, kiwi, mangoes, apples. Oh yeah. I don't always buy things like this. They're like, it's like $5. But on a day when it's hot like this, oh yeah. And uh, some guacamole. A loaf of bread, some sauce, <laughs> and some mustard. That's it for the grocery haul. So looking at this little cooler, there is probably four beer in the bottom, two bags of ice, and that's all it fits. Two of these on the top, 
guacamole, wedge it all in there, ram it shut. That's all this 20 liter has in store for itself. I've told you before, that thing, freaking useless. <laughs> I will at some point get myself a 30 quart one. Either it's gonna be Pelican, Yeti, or I seen some today when I was with my daughter at Cabela's. Cabela's has their own brand. So I'll probably look into that too because I guess they're cheaper. Or some other cheaper brand that holds ice for 10 days in a cooler that's just a little bigger than that one. It's just a little too small for, for what we do now. When I first started in the van, it was okay because I didn't really grocery shop. So for me, I just, I just needed something to keep my freaking beer cold. <laughs> that's all that mattered. But now that I'm eating more at home, ah, good job, Chrome. I'm gonna require a little bit of a bigger, a <laughs> little bit of a bigger cooler. Disc goes inside with the AC on. Hey there, just freaking chilling. Believe it or not, it's really hard for me to put out a video like this. A video that's not edited with tons of music and I don't know, I find it hard, but I know that sometimes the creative side of me just needs to go aside a little bit and I think once in a while we're gonna try to just create something raw for you guys like this. Kind of like just a regular video that the average van life channel might pump out. And these ones are nice because I think it kind of keeps things really raw. Like there's no fluff to it. Does that make sense? So let me know what you guys think of just these simple videos. You know, the ones that aren't so big and fluffy. Um, I enjoy the big fluffy, awesome edit music. I like those ones because they're fun to edit. That's the highlight of my freaking day. It's not recording, it's not talking, it's what I make out of it. So let me know what you think of these simple videos. If you guys want more of them or... <sighs> Hope you guys are staying cool wherever you are and if you're in a van, be cautious with your dog. Always put that animal or whatever you got in your vehicle first because I'm learning. This is my first actual summer in the van. I started van life last September. So it was at the tail end. The weather was getting cooler. It was still nice out, but it was like a good temperature. The temperatures were about, you know, 22 to like 26 degrees Celsius. Not today when it was like 32 degrees Celsius today or something. It's a little different because the van gets freaking hot. So I'm learning right now and you guys are seeing this whole learning process. Here's, here's how I figured this out. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more gigs at the golf club this summer. Something else might pop up, but right now I have seven of them there that I have to worry about the dog. And that's all the way till the last gig there is on September 23rd. So how I figured it out is, you know, because it's a wedding. Weddings are longer days, which means he's in the van pretty much from like, 11 o'clock in the in the morning and until like midnight or one o'clock in the morning i see them lots so i go in and out all the time but so anyway i figured it out so 160 or 157 dollars for the air conditioner only works out to 22 dollars per gig i would pay that for a puppy sitter you know using the app rover or whatever i would pay the 22 dollars 30 bucks for a puppy sitter so for me $22 for an air conditioner every time I need to use it for the remaining of the summer per seven gigs or whatever that was Not freaking bad And yeah, and then the air conditioner will be there ready to go for me next summer season while I'm at the golf club Because I will be taking weddings there next year. Ah, that's for another whole video. All right, everybody. See you later. Bye. bye. Subscribe too, by the way, if you're not subscribed hit it hit it hit it hit it <laughs>